helps them because this is all the media is talking about. As long as you guys are, you know, not you, just CNN, but, uh, you know, media, and understandably so, from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. every night saying his name 100 times and not really giving any airtime to these other candidates, that's exactly what the former president wants because he doesn't want to have to talk about issues. He doesn't want to have to talk about going forward and healing America and all these things that the rest of America wants to see. He wants to relitigate the past, and, and you know, we're kind of letting him do that, which is, which is well, unfortunate. I think that I, dynamic I hear... changes as we hit the debates. I, I hear what you're saying, but I, I, I think the question was actually more about the conduct alleged in the indictment. I mean, if you look at the sheer number of people charged in the Georgia case, you're talking about 18 uh, Trump allies, including Trump himself. And yeah. uh, they're accused of racketeering at least one and at least one related crime. I mean, there's a lot of conduct alleged here, including trying to tamper with voting machines and actual uh, voting information. What is your take on the actual information yeah. contained in this document. So a couple of things. I'm not a lawyer, but I will say this is incredibly similar to the federal indictment, right? Uh, that Jack Smith is doing out of out of DOJ. Um, other than, as you brought up, there's now 18 people involved, right? That's a much bigger swath of individuals. And something that I think Republicans need to take note of, this is a grand jury in a very conservative state that said this guy needs to be indicted, right? This isn't just the Department of Justice and the, the idea that it's all politicized. This is a grand jury in Georgia of all states, which again, kind of doubles down on the idea that this guy can't win in November. We might give him the nomination. I hope we don't, but this guy cannot win a state like Georgia. He cannot win a state like Arizona or New Hampshire or these swing states that you absolutely have to have. And last time I checked, you can't govern if you don't win. Right. It's it, just going to be another sob story for Donald Trump. And he's going to crush the Republican ticket going down. So I still very, very hopeful that the Republicans as a whole make a smart choice and find that one or two candidates to go against him by the time Iowa and New Hampshire hit.